2022 Super Aeronautique G21 with that Admiral Blue Metal Flake and that white Chromax with that whole bottom of the haze gray and rear stripe haze gray just shining in the sun. And as we go around front, you'll see that mystic white as our interior deck wraps around to the front. Um, and then we've got, of course, our docking lights on and uh, nav lights there on the windshield. But we'll take a look at the tower. We've got the uh, trifold bimini with the surf pockets. Uh, and then we have a pair of the 8.8 .8 JL audio tower speakers with the Nautique strapless board racks. Coming around to the transom, that haze gray platform. Of course, those luxurious looking transom seats in that haze gray true weave with the Admiral Blue and Mystic White. Let's jump on inside and take a look at the interior. 2022 Super Air Nautique G21. Sitting here on the platform, we've got our nice transom seats here right at the back. And before we get in, we've got a nice cooler here with the drain at the bottom and then also a good old integrated tow point here. Pretty standard there. Um, so colors, we're going to be in Mystic White seat bases and Admiral Blue piping. Admiral Blue seat boxing and the uh, haze gray true weave as that featured texture. So we'll look at the cup holders here before we walk in. All right, nice gradual step up here. Great walk through here on the transom covered in C deck. All right, let's take a look at our storage here. All right. Nice, nice big open storage and good little life jacket holders or rope holders here. Same on both sides. While we're here, take a look at the engine. All right, this one has the PCM ZZ6, 6.2 liter direct injection, 450 horsepower. get another good look at this layout here all right now step on in got our nice sea deck on the on the center surf view seat or wake view seating uh, so we'll pull this up all right here in the g21 we've got some nice wake view seating all right Got our courtesy lights on. This does have the enhanced courtesy light package. Today we chose blue. Get the transom seat back. All right, storage under each seat. This one's storing a cooler. So dedicated cooler storage there. And on the port side, cooler spot here as well. If you don't want you don't have to put the cooler in there it could be dedicated storage um, this lean back here can be put down just by lifting this and dropping down all right this one has the uh, JL studio premiere package so it has the four cockpit speakers and then the two bow speakers and then we've got two JL Audio 8.8 .8 tower speakers. Now, while we're on the tower, we've got the Nautique strapless board racks. And I already mentioned those two JL 8.8s. And then we have the tri-fold Bimini with the surf pockets. And then the Nautique awareness camera. And that tower is in haze gray with a mystic white accent. It is a manual folding tower, so the non-actuated version. And I'm gonna start the boat here, because we are drifting. All right, and while I am here at the helm, I'll go ahead and show you, show you the features here. Uh, the seat, obviously nice mystic white, admiral blue with that 
haze gray true weave there we've got our helm command so pretty handy i'll just sit down here helm command is basically going to be um you know your screen controls if you want to control it from there screen the link pan array screen can also be touch screen uh, but this is a nice uh, little shortcut to help guide so really nice um, obviously we got our phone holder here and then nice recessed storage area there just like a open glove box in a way but real quick let's go to the link pan array screen uh, we have new New for 2022, uh, the software looks uh, very similar to um, what they had on the Paragon, or have. Uh, so, updated look, um, it's a little simpler to, to maneuver around. So, um, all, your, all your main items here, house, music, ballast, lights, map settings, um, so pretty simple there. Uh, just a little easier to navigate. Uh, all your um, courtesy lights and driver's seat heat, all those things uh, can now be touch activated from the main from the main page. And of course, we've got our our camera. So now moving on, um, does have the icebreaker package. So we've got the heaters here and the heater hoses down below. So and then of course we've got that nice leather steering wheel, that tandem spoke steering wheel, and cell phone charger all right now we'll take a look here glove box good jail uh, audio head unit here so any controls if you don't want to do it from the driver's seat passenger can control that also has the uh, the passenger seat heat so this seat will get nice and warm on a cold day moving forward nice little spot for our trash can as always, trash there. Take a look from here. Trash can there. We've got our nice throwables, dock lines, slide in wind dam, and our sub. All your amps. Got the nice oversized mirror here. Moving forward. There's these pockets for that slide in wind dam. Um, up front really spacious for a G21. Nice open bow here. I think the colors really work well. Storage under the two seats here. And then the front can just be a removable or a removable seat. You know, you can remove it, get in and out. It's got seat deck underneath. There we go. Sits on plungers. And we got storage under here. GPS sending unit there. This boat has Fender Pros, so you'll see those there. Nice 30% window tint on this boat. And just another look here. All right, let's see some running footage. G21 has the ZZ6. It's all fully loaded. It's in wake mode, so it really mashes the NCRS down. That's where the big plume of water comes from for the rooster. Go keyhole turn there. Haze gray hull, just nice little accent. That's good. Admiral Blue Metallic is really sharp on that G21. Well, it doesn't have to be on the G21, just in general. If you have any more questions about this beautiful G21, give us a call. N3 Boatworks, 317-845-9253.